All right, guys, so we're back with a brand new video. So in the last video, I showed you guys how to set up the custom authentication. So in this video, it only makes sense to actually continue on with that. This time we need to actually save the user to the database. Okay, so by default, actually, if you want to use Django's built-in authentication system for like a different type of application, you can, and it's actually very easy to use. Now, there are a couple of methods that are part of Django's authentication library that make it very easy to customize it yourself. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Now, the next question is, how do we actually save the user to the database? Well, what we're going to do is inside auth.py is we're going to go ahead and declare a new variable. I'm going to call this new user. And what I'll do is I'll reference discord user. Okay, now the model itself actually has a property called objects. And there's going to be a create user method on this objects property. So what we need to do is we need to pass in all of the appropriate fields for our Discord user model. So basically the ID, the Discord tag, avatar, and last login. We won't actually pass in last login. That's what uh, Django Framework will uh, take care of for us. Okay, but we're going to have to take care of passing the ID. So let's get the user ID. Remember the user object. Well, I keep saying object. I really mean dictionary. Okay, it has a property called ID or key. We are also going to need to, we're also going to pass in the flags as well. And then we need to pass in the Discord tag. So the Discord tag is actually going to be a value that I'm going to define up here. So this is going to be percent %s, hashtag percent %s, and we're going to format that just like this. This is a really cool way to format strings in Python. And since we have two arguments, we need a comma and then we'll do user discriminator. Okay, so pretty much this percent s will uh, take the, this position over here. And we have a, a concatenation with the pound symbol or hashtag symbol. And this percent s will be taken by this value over here. Okay, so let's actually save and let's return a new user. And then if the user was found, we should return that user. Okay, now let's actually see what actually happens if we try to authenticate. So let's click on authorize. You're gonna see it actually says manager object has no attribute create user. Okay, so why are we getting this error? Well, the reason why is because we actually are using a custom model. And since we are using a custom model, we need to also have the manager object itself. So we need to actually create our own manager. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna create a file called managers.py. And this managers.py file is going to just have a class or any all of the class that we want for managers. Let me go ahead and import the models package. What we want to do next is we want to create our own class. I'm going to call this Discord OAuth2 Manager. Actually, let me call it a Discord User OAuth Manager. And then we are going to extend the user manager class. And we're going to create our own function call this create new discord user. You can actually see that my IntelliSense actually had the create user method. Okay, but we're gonna just create our own custom one. Okay, and this is gonna take in two parameters. It's gonna take in self and user. And this time, we're just gonna go ahead and take all this code that we wrote. And we're gonna paste it here. Okay, now, but this time instead, instead of doing discord user objects create user we're going to go ahead and do self dot create okay self dot create so that should create the actual uh, object for us okay so that's uh hopefully that's pretty straightforward so we've encapsulated this function right over here and now back in the auth.py file we're simply going to go ahead and now we got to go to the models.py file and what we need to do is we need to actually import the manager so from managers we got to import discord what was it discord user auth to manager I'm not sure why 
This is not picking me up though. Oh my god, I just realized what the issue was. I misspelled it. Wow, that was such a stupid mistake. It's supposed to be manager. Okay, it should be okay. I don't know why the intelligence isn't picking it up, but it should be okay. Okay, so we haven't actually tested it yet, but we needed to make sure that the manager was being imported. So that's good. So now, inside the model, we need to declare a property, and we're gonna call it objects, okay? And this is gonna just, and it's just going to be an instance of Discord user all auth to manager, just like that. Okay, very, very simple stuff. All right, so now uh, let's actually test everything out. So we need to actually go back into Authenticate. And inside Authenticate, we need to actually call Discord user dot objects dot create new Discord user. So new user equals Discord user objects create new discord user i'm going to pass in the user object so let's actually print out new user and i'll return it to so this should call uh, let's go where, where where are we this should call this method over here inside discord user manager okay and it should create it successfully and then return it so let's try this out again. Okay, so it seems like we have uh, another error, and that's because of our last login field in our model. So this is null value in column last login. Okay, so the reason why it's throwing this error is because in our model, we have last login as a date time field, we need, and it's supposed to be non-null. But because we aren't actually passing in the actual date time, we're just going to leave it as null, okay? Uh, did that actually fix it? Oh, we need to migrate again. Whoops, sorry about that. So, python, pi. Okay, yeah, we got to, every single time you make a change to your model, you need to migrate it, so... And then last we have to do migrate. Okay, so now let's authorize. Okay, so let's actually check our database and let's actually see uh, if there is any data. And you can see now our data is actually saved into database. Okay, so before it wasn't, but now it is. Okay, before we had an empty table, now we actually have our data in the database. So that's pretty good. Okay, so this is pretty much how we are using our custom authentication. The last thing that we need to actually do is save the user to the session. Okay, but I'll do that in the next video. So just to recap everything, what we did was we created our own user manager. Okay, and we created our own function over here. Now that function, we called it right over here. Okay, Discord user objects create new Discord user. If we actually scroll up, uh, you should see over here it says inside discord user manager so this function was in fact called and it returns new user and then we printed it out and you can see this is discord user object and it shows you the id and then yeah after that we just return and then it brings us back to the redirect page successfully so hopefully all of this was pretty straightforward i know it may be a little bit confusing with the whole manager but like i said there's a reason why i showed you guys the errors just so you guys are aware of what we need to do step by step so in the next video i'll show you guys how to save the actual user to the session because right now although we are authenticated and we are saved to the database we still need to persist the session with the user so i'll see you guys in that video peace